What's going on today, everybody? Um, I just want to make a quick video of how to go from SketchUp to Blender, um, just from the 3D warehouse. Um, I do have some other tutorials that are much longer, um, but this one is just kind of made like so you can quickly um, just uh, bring something in. Um, I do recommend that if you are going to bring something into a uh, Blender scene from SketchUp, uh, you should make your own, uh, like its own individual SketchUp file to kind of like make everything modular. Like if you have one big uh, SketchUp scene bringing in a Blender, you can do it, but um, you might run into some issues with importing that it's just easier to fix uh, when they're on their own. So um, I'm just going to find uh, an apartment here. So we'll try this one. I actually was just trying to record this video and then uh, I made Blender crash by accident. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this down here. Um, I'm going to pull this up. I'm just making a wall here so it's a little bit easier to, uh, to see. Um, and just for the purpose of uh, this video, um, I'm not going to go too in depth with like changing materials and stuff. Like I just want this to really focus on like how to quickly get it into Blender. Um, if you would like to know about the add-on that I'm using SketchUp Importer, there's a video below, or there's a link to a video below um, where I kind of go through what the add-on does um, and how uh, great it actually works, where to download it, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just going to open up Blender quickly. Um, I'm going to go to File import SketchUp scene. Uh, I'm going to find where I save this apartment test. And this should come in. Uh, when it comes in, you're going to see like a bunch of the walls are invisible. That's just because we're in uh, solid mode and the default, when you use this like import the default material becomes invisible in solid mode. But if you go in material preview, um, it's there. Um, now what I'm going to do is um, there is a better way of making the glass, which there's also a video below if you want to check that out. But for this, um, I'm just going to go over to the uh, material properties, surface, and I'm going to make this glass. That's good enough for now. I'm going to make the roughness zero. Um, I'm going to go to the world outliner, uh, sky texture. I'm going to make the elevation 45. Um, and then the intensity maybe like 0.75. You can just play around with this as you want. Um, what I am going to do though, is I'm just going to add in a quick camera. So I'm going to hold uh, shift R or sorry, shift right click camera. Um, if you can't move the camera around, make sure you hit N and go up to lock camera to view uh, in the view tab there. Um, so I'm just going to get a nice little angle that I like here. I'm going to increase that. Um, so the focal length is a bit harsh here. Like it's probably that's good right there. I'm not going to change any other textures. Um, as I think I mentioned, that my uh, I tried to download Omniverse uh, and it messed up my cache somehow. Um, so I'm not able to go into rendered mode uh, in Blender right now. I am able to render, but not go into rendered mode, which is kind of annoying. So what I'm just going to quickly do uh, is I'm just going to hit F12 and we're going to see if this came in, how bright it is. Um, so that actually worked out pretty well. Um, it's not too bad. So, um, yeah, and that's, that's really all you have to do. Um, if you use the add on, like you can bring stuff into blender pretty easily. Now I would recommend if you are doing this to change a bunch of the textures, but as you can see, just by like, you know, I feel like this, uh, even just rendering it with just like the flat textures on it actually look better than some of the rendering engines that you can get straight out of SketchUp. Um, so that's pretty cool. And Blender's completely free. So um, I know that this is probably felt like a pretty stripped down tutorial. I only wanted to show like how quickly you could do this. Um, but you know, there's a ton of stuff you have to do like texturing. Um, you know, I wouldn't leave just like the background at like white outside. Um, so um, yeah, that's something to just keep in mind. Um, yeah, hopefully this helped out some people. If you are trying to get into SketchUp to Blender, I literally just filmed a 45-minute uh, video that will go, it goes fairly fast, but it will show you the whole SketchUp to Blender workflow that you can do. Um, I do recommend that you just kind of get uh, a couple tutorials under your belt of just learning how to like move uh, basic objects around in Blender, that sort of thing. Um, and then I think the tutorial that I just made will really help you out if you are interested in learning how to go from SketchUp to Blender. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, um, 
please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button, uh, help me out with the YouTube algorithm and help grow the channel. Um, you know, seeing uh, people subscribing every day really motivates me to try and find some interesting videos uh, for people to uh, to learn how to render with, or maybe, you know, maybe just get better. Um, but yeah, if you are subscribed, thank you very much for checking out this video. Um, hopefully I have uh, some more coming out uh, over the next couple of days and I hope you'll uh, tune into them. Have a great day, guys.